Well, let's just say straight off that if Iran and Saudi Arabia were to go to war, that would be catastrophic. No one really thinks that's going to happen. But they are definitely at loggerheads, facing off and even fighting by proxy all over the region. It's about a struggle for power that's been going on for almost 40 years. Saudi Arabia, home to Islam's two holiest sites, always felt it was the undisputed leader of the Muslim world. But then, in 1979, along came Ayatollah Khomeini and Iran's Islamic revolution. He was welcomed by the biggest crowd in human history. Suddenly, Saudi Arabia had a rival. Fast forward to today, and Tehran's influence extends across a broad area of the Middle East, from Iran in the east to Lebanon in the west. Saudi Arabia feels threatened in its own backyard. And then, of course, there's religion, the two countries representing the two rival camps within Islam. Saudi Arabia is Sunni, Iran is Shiite. So this geopolitical rivalry inevitably has religious overtones. In Yemen, there's a civil war. Saudi Arabia is helping one side, Iran the other. In Syria, Iran supports President Assad and has sent troops and militias to fight for him. The Saudis have funded and armed rebel groups. In Iraq, since the fall of Saddam Hussein, Iran has become hugely influential. Recently, Saudi Arabia has been trying to extend its influence there. And then there's Lebanon, a complicated country with its own delicate power balance. For decades, Iran has supported the Shiite militia and political party Hezbollah. It's part of the Lebanese government, but it's also fighting in Syria and has a presence in Yemen and Iraq. To Saudi Arabia, this is all too much. Saudi Arabia's crown prince, who pretty much runs the country, has been sounding increasingly tough on Iran, accusing it of trying to dominate the Muslim world. Most people think the crown prince actually ordered the recent resignation of the prime minister of Lebanon. The prime minister, Saad Hariri, made his shock announcement in Saudi Arabia. I want to say to Iran and its followers that they are losing in their interference in the affairs of the Arab world. The suspicion is that Saudi Arabia is trying to force a confrontation with Hezbollah to weaken its authority and the influence of Iran. If so, this is dangerous territory. It could open up a whole new front in this cold war between Saudi Arabia and Iran in a country, Lebanon, that has already seen far too much conflict.